So hi everybody and welcome back to Sandral Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 75 and in this video we will uh, now assign this uh, widget blueprint which we created uh, uh, before uh, this gold zero. Actually just the zero here. We will bind it to a value which will be up Dated when our character is collecting coins. So let's get into it. First of all, we need to create just a variable in our character. I already did it. I jumped to my character. And what I did here is just click here on variables, this plus sign, created this variable here, changed here it to integer, and named it counter drop gold. I called it counter because we count the gold which we are going to collect of course name it what you like and then also important is i made it public so when you see this i here i can close it or i can open it if you open it this means this variable is now public and uh, it's very important in our case which uh, because we want access it from a reference from the widget blueprint soon i show you there's something interesting but right now you can compile after you created this variable save it and then we go to the def uh, details select your variable which you created and we can set here up uh, a base value zero or hundred and or whatever you like i set it to 100 because some games have have start money some games have nothing in my case i give my character start money about let's say start gold or resource start resource around 100 so he can buy something uh, later so that is just for fun and let's continue this is then finished here then after we have finished we can close this one then we go to this one we don't need BB goals. Let's close this old things here. Let's con concentrate now to our widget blueprint, which we created. This is the widget blueprint for my character. We created this gold, and here, yes, I created here a strange, uh, uh, fast example where I forget how to size this. It was actually very easy when you click on this one go here on size and use instead of auto use here fill and then you can use this horizontal alignment full and then vertical alignment full because we are here in a horizontal box that's very important to note and then after you set up this one you can go to the justification and now you can set if it should uh, on the left side in the middle or in the right side and in my case let's go to appearance again let's select first this one in my case i set it now in the middle and that's it so that was this fix here what i forget to do right and let's continue with the content if you have here the content on your screen there should be something like bind we can bind it and actually i show you a better way than what i did here what i did here is just create binding you can click on this bind and set create binding and if you click it you will have something like this one uh, which means you can set it up um what I mean with set it up is you can name it first, this function, then you can make a reference where you set your um, current uh, dropped gold. In my case, this variable here was infinite warrior, and then I converted it to a return value. And this one is actually, actually the standard way, but not the best way. And here, one more thing instead uh, how you get this uh, convert uh, this till this point i think it's clear i just use here the reference which we created before but also you could here use here the function library instead of this one uh, then you but we already created this one so choose what you like the goal is just to get a reference to our character here and with this reference to our character we have now access to this variable which we created why i have which is in our player character just this variable which you created here that's why and then instead of typing in here to text integer or something like that this is the cast node you can just use the shortcut here that uh, this one and when you do this one you see this uh, blue 
red uh, convert sign and this one is doing automatically this convert for you but of course you can just write and find this convert as well in the notes so here one more thing i'm not sure if you use your grouping you have to read this in the documentation because it is doing something i think we should not use it but i'm not sure right now at least i keep it and what i want to do is anyway to get rid of all this thing here and there is one way this is uh this is actually the better way and now i show you this one so instead of creating here a binding which costs a function creation which we did right now here instead of doing this one you we let me show you this one fast again we created this variable right and we made it public and now this comes in place because we made this one public and we have a reference in our uh, for example in our widget here not here at this place we created a reference here in event construct here is my reference the player character i created here the variable now what i can do is oops I go to my widget blueprint to the designer and instead of making all the things here I can go to the reference you can see I have created this two reference I have a, a reference to a game mode gameplay and a reference to my uh, infinity warrior and this reference means I have access to public created variables and when we watch this now here is actually our current dropped gold. This works also with game modes and all references, I think, as long as they are public and accessible, something like that. So in our case, I made it public, which means it is accessible from references, which means we don't need a getter, which means I can get it here, which means in the end, yeah, I don't need to do anything with this binding. I just click it here. And now you see SBP Infinite Warrior, uh, it is directly using this reference for you. So all the stuff what I made before was for nothing and not for nothing, at least for a demonstration. And this one shows you there is a easier way. And interesting is sometimes Unreal Engine shows this not all time, at least yesterday. It can happen that this one is not showing it all time or referencing it right perhaps you have just to start after you made all correct start the engine again close it start it, and then it should work but normally it works because these variables are public and public reference means if you have a reference you can get it and that's the part for this one now we have made a connection but what we need is the last part how we increment this number i think that's the part which we are missing and let's do this fast too what we do is we go to our um i think i stop here let's do this in the next video we just made this binding and in the next video we will now incrementing this gold and we will overlap our gold coin for this one and set something up all right and like all time if you have any questions write it in the comment if you have any complaints <laughs> write it also in the comments i will try to fix them and with that said good luck and see you in the next bye